Good morning, folks. Welcome to the stream. I am Tassinix. It is a week two, round three of season 20, a five versus five Grand Arena Championship for Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Um, I am dying here, folks. Uh, my, my baby girl, my toddler, she's turning three here soon. She's uh, having a sleep pattern shift, and it's, uh, it's called sleep for an hour around two in the afternoon then stay up until 2 a.m., then wake up at 6 a.m., then wake up at 10 a.m. That's not a problem, is it? So yeah, this is the way life is right now. Anyway, um, let's get right to it. Our opponent is MSMUFC, the Beastmaster of Galactic Rebels. Um, I have heard of that skill before. I'm pretty sure I've fought somebody from this skill before. Uh, when I looked at his account, yeah, nothing else, uh, nothing really special jumped out of me. Uh, uh, yeah, very fast spin, but he uses all this. The thing that really stands out to me, yeah, it's only 333, interesting. So yeah, um, the thing that I noticed about this guy's history is that, wow, uh, you're either cursed or blessed, man, because all of last 5v5 season, he had week after week of auto sets, and this last week that we can see on Swaga right now is um, two auto sets and only one legitimate matchup in which he used everything good on attack. So just sets a pure cheese board. And now when we uh, pop in and have a look, we can see that uh, you'll see when we get to the defensive review, uh, or sorry, the offensive review that uh, it is in fact the case. Guy has no GLs here up front. I very much suspect nothing in the back. We will, of course, uh, exercise a little caution, but we have JMK for offense, so let's assume he only has one on D, something like that. There is nothing that JMK cannot kill. Anyway, uh, let's get cracking here on the defense. So, he one-shot everything. Now let me read off to you what I got from PrimeBot on all these. On the new team, he got 57. On Maul, he got 58. On GG, he got 58. And on Crew, he got 55. Doo, doo, doo. Uh, hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, so yeah, sorry, I wasn't looking at the chat. Hey, Sweens, thanks. Yeah, you know what? Um, that intro uh, was obviously made by Goodfoot. Um, somebody who I think has just since, you know, stopped playing the game, kind of left, uh, left all of this behind. Uh, it's actually a little out of date, because Shadowlands has since grown. We have seven guilds who picked up this really good French guild, uh, but we haven't had this thing updated yet, so we really need somebody who's handy to, to update that for us, and I'd love to throw it back in. But, uh, yeah, I can claim no credit for that trailer. It's awesome. It's a great Shadowlands thing. Uh, awesome, yeah. Let's see here. Yeah, th thank you, Sweens. Thank you, Sweens. Yeah, the sleep schedule is killing me. It is eight guilds now? See? See? Shadow? See? Fulbright? You got me out here running this thing two guilds behind this trailer. You know? Who, who's nuts you gotta step on to get that updated, yeah? Okay, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Uh, sorry to Fallen. I forgot about Fallen. Uh, my bad. Hey, Baylor, good morning. 
And yes, it is a it is a cheese board. So let's uh, let's keep on moving with the defense stuff. All right. So against the Stormtrooper Han Wampa team, the gentleman got 55. Hoorah! Uh, Bam Queel IG11 Ness Dengar. He treated it with the uh, proper respect, and he got a 60 on it. So Gas Rex Echo Arc Fives. He got 55. And then against uh, the Ray team set here, 59. So no drops, uh, a bit of a range of banners, um, very little, you know, room to operate in. I certainly can't have any drops. Go back here now. Oh, ooh, Nightbot, Nightbot just pruned you, huh? And down here. So, I've been keeping CLS for offense for most of this season. He's just proven to be too flexible to be without. And um, I set him down this time, you know, hoping just to increase the threat on the table. So he got a 59 there. Against the Assage team, he got a 57. And then so I set this CDR team down because my DR plus 40 was greater than his Piet plus 20, but it's possible he may have taken me on a ruse cruise because, um, I don't know. I mean, well, I guess you could, I guess you could JMK that. Never mind. It's maybe he didn't ruse me because, uh, I, I, I only had one speed more in that total for a uh, DR to be faster than the Gideon, so. So he had uh, pretty solid clears overall, good average, and uh, he has not yet attempted my ships. And we can have a look at him though. <coughs> so I set down um, this negotiator, extremely powerful against rebels. Um, negotiator mirror is the strongest uh, is the strongest thing against this not this comp though you wouldn't mirror it with this comp you'd mirror it with uh, fives up front instead of ahsoka but um this is also so this is a good threat against rebels and against malevolence and then you have um my empire team here and this is i would say that it is about like Seven, seven out of ten difficulty for Empire comps. Like, I, I could have said it slightly differently, but I have reason to believe this might trip him up. So, we'll see how this goes. Alright, offensive review. Uh, Alright, let me get, let me get the chat on the other screen so I don't actually miss you guys. <laughs> Alright, there, I can see what you're saying. All right, offensive review. So, let us discuss this hot mess. Um, so because he has decent clears through everything, you know, I'm gonna try and underman where I can. Uh, but you got this Aura, IG-88, CAD, Zam, and Dengar team, which is just something. Beat me up on one of the Jerry's kids. Whoosh goes the reference, I think, Fulbright. It's either that or my brain is still, you know, we're, we're having the light, lights are still coming on here. Low power situation. Uh, so you got Bam, Quill, uh, IG-11, Kara, and Nest. So that's a, a TMR reducing team. I might just slacker that because I can. I mean, you know, I've, I, I would still have a JML. I mean, the whole board's revealed, so I can talk about everything now. Um, JML is uh, is with me. I've got uh, JMK and I have Slacker, so I'm not terribly worried about it. Thank you, Heinze. Appreciate you tuning in. All right, uh, so I think I'm just going to Slacker that. This Django team, it's a good team. Um, it's not terribly fast. Ooh, flickering power. Why would we have flickering power? It's a nice sunny day out. All right, yeah, 292 is very, very slow for your grief. Bosk is 293. Clocked right, but still pretty, pretty slow. This Django is actually pretty nice. I like, I mean, 
yeah, he's, he's just about where he should be speed-wise. Uh, very, very strong damage. So, I can respect that. And then you have this Karth team. Yeah, so it's just a Karth team with a G12 Karth there. So I'll take... So I don't do extreme underbands a lot here, guys. So where, where you see the opportunity and I'm not looking at it, do let me know. But yeah, we, we want to, I, I really want to punish this guy. I really am not a fan of people who say everything for attack. You can go light on defense, that's fine. But you're not really offering me the opportunity. Uh-oh. Oh, it is the bulb that died. Very well, now we dwell in the dark. Let me see about this. Okay. Actually, the plug. It's just the plug. Alright, so, Mom Mothma, Pow, Scout, um, Cassian K2. You know, odd, odd for that to be together, because it's most of the bones of the turn meter team. Uh, what did I have penciled in to deal with that? How was I going to deal with that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. that's a good one. All right, so you got GBA here, nothing fancy. Uh, the fastest thing here on the table is a 290 uh, GBA. So this was just fun. This uh, I, I checked on this here this morning. So 290 is the fastest guy on the team. My is 267, so I know I can do a hell of an underman here. 267, and then once you're in the match, you gain 16 from himself. That puts him at 283. If I put him with Watt, and then one other Empire, say Shore Trooper, that's another 8, which makes him 291 effective. So, um, I don't know that they'll even get to take a turn. That's going to be fun. Alright, we got the uh, Kira, Vet Han, Stormtrooper Han, and yeah, Vet's team. So, the good news here is that these two are only going to do the crazy haywire crap when one or the other is killed. Uh, there's no resistance leader here to also capitalize on that. Still, um, I really don't want to get stuck in any kind of uh, loop on that. I have it penned in that I was going to RJT this. So we can immediately, you know, hand wave Han. And I don't think... How does this one work? Oh, uh, yeah, it's a dispel buffs. What was that? Dispel all buffs on all enemies. Okay, yeah. That isn't great. Scoundrel, blah, blah, blah. 50 percent chance to expose fades. It's actually pretty good. Um, yeah. I, I I like the I like her character. And honestly, I'm impressed to, to see somebody take the Zeta, because it's kinda eh. But it does stuff when you have it, so why not? I can't hate that. Alright, so Mother Tall's. Uh, flickering power is a side effect from the field. Okay. Ah, I see. I see. So, you know, there is, you know, so there are antenna built into this Fulbright. All right, fair enough. All right. Uh, the Mother Talzin team. What was the game plan for that one? What did I write down? Uh, I think, yeah, I saw this. Uh, Aman Mothma. Uh, variant. So you, you take uh, Cassian and K2, and that makes sense because then you'd have the buff immunity on basic to easily move past zombie. You have so much healing on the team that, you know, Mother Talzin's plague is trivial. Uh, I like that. I, I think that's very clever. And they also don't happen to be the most, like, rockingly huge sisters on the planet, so it could be worse. That being said, Oh, yeah, it's like, yeah, I mean, it's approaching 11,000. It's all right. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, so what do I want to do first? Let's do the Treya Scion Nihilus with Gideon for funsies. That one was just so smooth last time. I really liked it. Zareth came up with a good idea there. And anything I need to check. Ba, 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 ba. Well, let's make sure that we've got... Uh... Oh, the combat music was on the whole time? Dang it. Tell them, tell me nothing. Alright, we're going to restart the combat music. It would just be too weird.
Okay, there we go. You all heard nothing. You saw nothing. Treya, Sion, Nihilus, Gideon, battle. Yeah, I'm very professional at this. Um, very well practiced, you can see. Also, very much awake, yeah? Okay, people who need to die, chapter one, pow. He is the great engine. Um, doesn't really matter. Well, we can put the armor shred here. We will isolate. How? And then we'll take out the scout. Very good, very good. Uh, keep focused on the scion there. Have at it. Just beat him to death then. We wish you well. Alright. Now that that's out of the way. Take care of the scout. Alright. The ultimate. Get some protection back. Um, gee, it almost seems unfair. Pop, go the weasel. Sixty. Okay. Ba -ba -bum. Alright, Mother Talzin. Uh, I'm thinking I want to try that Mon Mothma team now. That's going to be interesting. I haven't done this before, but I also think that I'm saving, you know, the very best for the for the most part for the back wall. So, why not? Um, let's see here. Rebel. Thank you, Sweens. Appreciate it. Yeah, um, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll think about that, Fulbright, a whiteboard, um, I, you know what, it, you know what I should do is get with the times and just have, like, a scene come up with a whiteboard and have the text on there, like, the time of writing it, people having to read my chicken scratch, it's not a good time for anyone, no, there's no winners there, so. Alright, what did I write down that comp was? That was Kara, Cassian, Scout, and K2. Alright, so we get a bunch of turn meter, that makes sense. We have more TMR here. We have the buff immunity, we have primary tank. Okay, it's it's interesting. I'll give it a go. I will give it a go. Yeah, I should get with the times full, right? That's a that's a fair one. Um, I, I'll, I'll talk, uh, I'll pick Heinze's brain or I'll do some Googling. I'll, I'll do some legwork on that one. Um, all right. Off to the races. So our scout got hard stuck. Everybody gets the play. Ah, ah, ah. Um, yeah, I would rather throw the bomb here. There we go. That's just fine. Okay, weak people who should die. Um, Asajj is just fine. <laughs> I, I appreciate uh, I appreciate the compliment, Fulbright. Uh, I, I don't I, I was never really a whiteboard person, so I'm curious what makes you see it that way. But uh, I've had worse. Thank you for the follow, Estillo. Much appreciated. It's been a pleasure talking to you here the last couple of days. So happy to have you uh, on board the stream. We don't need to do the heal here. Let's just stick with the script. We want to take out this one, uh, people who I want to stun. This would be nice if I could make this stun. Alright, good. Now we'll finish you. That's one death. And we're going after Spirit, uh, mostly because she's the uh, most fragile person here. Alright, so that's the second death. Now we go after Old Daka. Um, what is this one going to do? Blah, 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 blah. 
click the debuff. No, no, no. We'll just stick to the script here. Yeah, yeah. She's an old, she's an old lady. But uh, I'll tell you what. If you ever saw my old Daka, you don't want to meet her in a dark alley at night. Not that it really stopped our opponent, eh? So can't really talk all that smack if it doesn't stop people. Or strip terribly great banners either. I mean, yeah. I, I, what I need to get more comfortable with is setting the super heavy defense, guys. Like. Against opponents like this, I really should just set three GLs. Um, it's just, uh, it feels it feels so bad those times. Okay, this is starting to get stupid. Uh, why is this taking so long? Two minutes, 40 seconds. I gotta stop jawjacking and focus on this here, guys. I'm not gonna get stuck on the sisters. Come on, finish her. You have no damage, that's the issue. Come on, come on, come on. All right, good, done. So now, what's the idea? We'll take out, uh, you're, you're already ability blocked. Let's go after Mother Talzin. See that we can't shut her down. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not so worried about what Spirit can do to us. Almost there, almost there. Very good, very good, okay. Who do we get the ability block on? It's on Spirit, but Spirit's almost dead. Let's go for it. All right, off to the races. Good, good, good. Here I was starting to get concerned. All right. Good, 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 good. 60 it is. I like that. Okay. So, against this uh, Kira team, what do you guys think about, I was thinking to use uh, RJT, BB-8, vet, uh, the Veteran Brothers, uh, and Finn, OG Finn. And against this uh, GBA team, again, I want to just do this BS with Vader. I think that will just be fun for me. Um, is it wiser to go in with Thrawn as well, just for the opportunity to swap some turns, get a few banners back in the end. Otherwise, we're relying uh, very much on the tank tech to just you know, passively restore up our uh, Shore Trooper. And that's kind of leaving some banner money on the table. You don't have to do it that way. And a four-man underman is enough. I don't know. What do y'all think? Thrawn it. Okay, yes. Bust out your white beater and grab another Bud Light. Fulbright, you party, you party hardy in the morning, I'll tell you what. Uh, I mean, drinking, drinking Bud Light first in the morning does sound like a unique form of self-punishment. Um, I would rather, like, chug red wine first thing, and that would probably not pan out well for me. All right, let's, uh, let's get underway. Breakfast beer. Oh, yeah, beer fist is what we called it in the college days. Beer fist. All right, weapon tech, two Vader. Tank tech, two Shore. Oh, how interesting is that? Um, not something that I really need to worry about. I guess we should fracture here so I don't get a counter. And I guess I don't really care what happens after that. So we'll do Merciless targeting him. We'll crush targeting uh, Brute. We send Spy to Hell. And basics for everyone. Ah, 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 ah. Crushing Z. Bonk. Ole. Uh, as it turns out, the Thrawn was entirely wasted. But that's okay. All right, we got up on that one. So far, we're 60, 60, and 61, guys. Things are going our way. 
So how about that Kiratine? What's uh, what do you got? What do you guys got on deck that's gonna, you know, hopefully punch across, if not punch up, and still get sixty? Because otherwise, I was thinking that RJT, BBA, and Vets team, uh, not not too terribly much in the way of protection restoration there. And Lord knows, Lord knows, do we have plenty of offense? I can basically do anything. I can do anything. Break the spears. Interesting way to start the day, yeah. Yeah, I bet, Baylor. Yeah, in, in Germany, I could see them doing that. Beer is uh, just an everyday part of life, even for pretty young, like... I think it's uh, very early teens, I think they can drink. Don't quote me on it. Never been. Uh, let's see here. So, by the way, guys, what do you think about this? Um, against that Karth team. So, let me, let me pull up that comp again. That was Karth, Candorous, Mission, Zalbar, <coughs> and L3. I guess maybe the L3 is the problem there. I guess the L3 is what would prevent you from doing, like, the solo Kylo here. Yeah? So. 16 for the drinking age. Ooh! 300. Hey, cool. The coffee break. It worked. Let me get. Let me. Let me take a moment to pause and reflect. That's what I've decided. Coffee break. Means. Uh, I'm just gonna think about what the hell I'm doing here in a second. So we have so many things to overpower this. Let me see what else I've got scheduled to use. So against the Bam team, I was planning the slacker. Unless the back wall, you know, changes my mind. Against the Django lead team, I was just going to Troopers that. Veers, Piet, Death Range, Stark. Um, the Karth team, the game plan right now is Geos. Uh, Geos could be used on any of these other teams um, equally well. Now, we have that Aura, IG-88, Cad, Zam, Dengar. That team is uh, its going to be so quick to get its payout off, but they're also fairly you know, fairly terrible bounty hunters, so, I don't know. We do have the Padme team of a kind uh, at our disposal. We would have, like, the the Zerus variant. R2 is already committed on defense. So, hmm. Uh. Alright, coffee break over. Okay, uh, I'm not hearing any other hot ideas from you guys on dealing with this Kira team, so I'm going to stick with my plan. We'll do the RJT, BB-8, Vets, and Finn. So Finn and BB-8 basically represent our uh, protection restoration opportunity, right? Drop him in, drop him in. Yeah, these guys are modded for business. Um, you know, the Vet Smuggler Han, he has the Agility Attacker... Uh, mastery, so he is an outstanding beneficiary of uh, crit damage mods. Doesn't need to be all that fast for what he does, but he hits decently hard for what he is. High chance to crit, and what's important is you just have with with a you know you just make use of that high uh, the crit damage opportunity. With him. So he hits hard with that, and then vet smuggler. Yeah, that's what I'm planning on doing here, Fulbright. Appreciate it. Yep, that's gonna be the plan. So Vet Smuggler here, you know, he's a fairly big boy, not too fast. Uh, high damage, I wish his crit chance were higher, because he has the armor penetration, right? So he benefits more from offense modding with crit chance. Um, I just need to get more crit chance on him eventually, but, you know, he's not uh, top of my list. Okay, so let's think about how this should go. We're going to hand wave. That's what we're going to do. We want to hand wave Han from the beginning, believe it or not. Uh, and then all eyes on Vandor. Vandor must die. Now, as far as people who I don't really want using abilities, I would say it's Kira for the most part. Uh, it's an AoE ability block though, right? Yeah, stun the primary target. An AoE ability block. Yeah, we'll do that. I don't mind her getting stunned. I am game for that. 
Okay, so this is another stun opportunity. Um, we could also have him taunt up here. Hmm. We'll take the money and run. There's probably going to be enough time to do that again. Okay, um, next person who needs to die is this guy who does stun and AoE ability block. It's also great that uh, Chewie is still ability blocked here, so if we're quick about it, we can get the kill. Yeah, this is it. We're going to Stone Age's turn meter. Um, yeah, we'll finish. Yeah, okay, that was waste. Underestimate how much damage these guys do. So yeah, the days in the ability block just ruined the veteran smuggler idea for him. Uh, blah blah blah, we'll do this again. Finish this. Stone Age you once more. Killing Z. Alright, we're all full protection here, so let's keep the stun lock going. And now we just ride off into the sunset. Thank you so much for the cheer, Fulbright. Much appreciated. Yeah, I gotta add more Twitch emotes and stuff. I really gotta get with all that. Alright, so 60. We are through the gate. And we did it for uh, slightly better banners than our opponent. What is it? He got, he got 59, 55, 60, and 55. So we actually did a little bit more than better. That's, that's quite a bit that we ranked up there. Alright, what manner of mess do you have back here? Alright, so Bad Batch, um, I don't know, so you got Hunter, Tick, no that's, that's, that's Rika, then Tick, yeah, it's terrible, Icko, BB Icko, and Xeris. Hmm. Okay, um, this armor team. Armor, Bo-Katan, I mean, if you don't have the Zeta on Bo-Katan, I guess armor leadership's not a bad alternative, so. And then the Gar Saxon, Imperial Super Commando, and the G12 Sabine. Uh, no element of challenge here. And then, of course, uh, <laughs> Ewoks. <laughs> uh, Ewoks. No Zeta Ewoks, man. This guy's... Uh, well, okay, I see it. I, I missed the one. Alright, one Zeta Ewoks. Jeez. Uh, what is that? It's, I have to remember all the names now. It's been so long. That's Chirpa. That's Low Gray. That's... That's Wicked. Um, oh, what is it? That's their healer shaman thing. I forget his name. Elder, Elder, yeah, Elder, and Paplu. Okay, so hardest teams on the deck right now are the Bad Batch, the Django, and the uh, Bam team. So, Bam, I was planning to slacker um, solo. We, don't, we really don't need to worry about trying to do anything other than crazy undermans at this point, right? So let's think about how to divide the forces. Um, so the original plan was to troopers Django. We can, we can just as easily not do that. Uh, let's think here. So the armor team's not going to be that fast. We could assign bounty hunters to that. Um, we still have Geos assigned to the Karth team. I'm, I'm cool with that. The Django team. We can overpower that. We can just use something... So JML or JMK. Uh, who do I care more about shutting down their abilities hardcore? I would say that's probably going to be uh, BB Echo. I'd like to do that. So we could do like JML Cam Hoda up there against the Hunter team. Do you think that's enough? 
Or is that too extreme of an underman? In the meantime, while we ponder uh, that question, I'm just going to slacker this. There's no reason they gain turn meter. If they remove turn meter, they're buffing me. So yeah, there's there's no way this can really go south on me. You have the... Let's think about this. Um, healing immunity from birds, yeah? So, but that's not going to be an impediment to us if he is stunned. Uh, why am I thinking there's a healing immunity somewhere on the deck? Hold on, hold on. There it is, there it is. Inflict healing immunity for two turns on all enemies. But the healing immunity uh, would be dispelled by the next swipe that I do. So really, yeah, there's nothing to be scared about here, I think. Let's do it. And we know Vandor is already used, so I don't have to worry about ducking and dodging around all that crap. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and get that out of the way. It's all very rude, very rude stuff. Um, take mastery from you. Ooh, we're so close, so close. We're still pretty close. Come on, then. Um, people who I want to stun. Well, truthfully, truthfully, we can just basic him into non-existence there. So that part of the show is over. The other real threat condition is Nest, so we stun there. And now I feel like I'm in a fair position to swipe. All that's gone. Okay, um, I actually feel like I want to ult here, because I don't want to get uh, stuck worried about this. Yeah, there we go. Um, one more stun. Yeah, now we're back in fine shape. Alright, finish with that, stun you. What? No stun for you? Very good. 63. Okay. Um, so Django, I think we can, like, JMK something, yeah? Yeah, and then we could use, <laughs> we could use troopers hilariously somewhere else. That would be fun. So what does that look like for us? That's JMK, um... JKA, we could do and Ahsoka, so JMK, Ahsoka, JKA. What do you guys think? Uh, those three alone, and then JML, Cam, Hoda against the Hunter team? Or is three too little? In the meantime, since I know I'm going to do some kind of JMK there, I might as well take my troopers up top. But now, since I'm not going against the same comp as I was a minute ago, uh, we're gonna put Dark Trooper back in, because he deserves to be out in front. Mm. Coffee's starting to get low. Hey, guys, when I hit the one minute ad break, do you actually see an ad, or do you just see my empty chair sitting there? That's a good question. Um, all right, what are we doing here? What are we doing? Yeah, we're going to activate the Dark Trooper. Okay, range death. Uh, yeah, I like this. There is no opportunity for this to go sideways on me. Um, everybody has a place here. I'm okay, dude. Okay, uh, I appreciate that absolution. That's something I'll have to troubleshoot and figure out. How am I supposed to harvest funds from you guys if you don't see ads, you know? 
Uh, yeah, I don't know. You know what? Yeah, Absolution. I guess that's a fair question I should have thought of, Baylor. Absolution, do you use an ad blocker? <laughs> oh, there was, there was a Cad Bane once. There used to be in a time before time. Bonk. They thought it was, but it wasn't. Now disappear. Daniel Shang, son. Okay. Sixty there. Oh, I hope I hope this banner total crushes him. I hope it does. Jerk. Uh, what do I want to do for the Ewoks in the back? That's that's something I need to think about. I do need to have something assigned to them at least. What does that look like? I don't have JKL assigned anywhere. What does that look like? JKL, Grandmaster, Yoda, Old Ben? Yeah, that could work. JKL, Grandmaster, Yoda, Old Ben. So you got a JML Cam Hoda against the uh, Bad Batch team up top. I think that should work out, but I can always add in another Jedi. I suppose I could do that, yeah. Because we're gonna end up full health anyway. Who would I be most benefiting from? I guess Ayla is always good. Uh, stunning people is hot. That's real hot. Cam, oh, but here's the thing, if I have I should have, um, I shouldn't, I should switch this. I should have Hoda with JKL and Grandmaster. Yeah. Yeah, that's better, because, and that means then that if I'm going to do that, um, that means I don't really have a true healer on that team anymore. Oh my god, can I type this one? Hmm. Twitch app and do a pop-up blocker on the tablet. All right, well, fair enough. Appreci appreciate the feedback, Absolution. I'll figure it out at some point. Uh, so yeah, I'm thinking against the the JKL Hoda Old Ben is more than enough to deal with those terrible uh, Ewoks. Honestly, no, no, I don't want to risk getting I don't want to risk getting jacked up on a turn meter gimmick. So let's not go too fancy. Against the armor team, we can just do aura bounty hunters. I see no threat there. So Hunter, Record Tech, BB, Echo, and Zero. So we get the ability block right off the bat. That really shuts down all their stuff. So what am I worried about in terms of needing to restore protection? And who can do that for us? Let's take a look at Jedi that I have not committed. So we can restore bonus protection with Jolie. Not Aha! Shock T is the solution to this one. Um, I like that. Alright, that means that for Django, Bosk, all that, we can throw in GK with the JK, uh, JMK team. That seems really super safe. So the remaining attack plan, we would JMK the Django. We're gonna Geo's the Karth. Okay. I like this. Let's finish clearing the top zone. We all, I'd like to do fleets last, but we, we have our battle plan together now. Death comes to Django. Uh, JMK, Ahsoka, GK, JK. That's what we committed to. Off and away. Oof. Ba -ba 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 um, people who need to die. We want to get rid of Mando first. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Let's uh, do the smash. That's fine. All right. Font removed. That's good. Um, this is kind of a waste to use that there. 
this, we will Hulk smash just himself to further charge his ult. Uh, yep, mass attack on him now. Alright, so that's out of the way. What am I worried about next? We have tenacity up, so there's no real threat here from ability block from Boba. Alright, now we have Retribution on deck. I really don't want to basic into that. I'd rather go after this. Right. Django's starting to get stacked. Um, he, he will hit... Yeah, he's going to hit that. I don't want that to happen at all. Let's think about this. Uh, yeah, let's delete Bosk. Alright. Back to... This. Django needs to go next. There we go, that's going very well. Okay, dispel here, that'll be the kill mark on him, basic. Okay, basic, remove your retribution. Um, let's do this and then ult, because it seems like that'll just be a better top off. Easy. Boom. 61. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, Karth team. Geodes. Soldier, Sunfat, Poggle, Spy, go. Mm, hope you all are enjoying your Sunday morning. It's beautiful here. I'd have the windows open if it weren't already so muggy. So, um, we don't need to do anything other than basic here. That's fine. All right. Name of the game is Shut Down Candorous Ordo. Uh, kill the Ordo, save the world. Crit chance down is nice. I'm into that. Um, bu -bu 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 -bum. This is going to give us offense up. I do very much like the offense up. Let's have that. Alright, back on to Karth. Yep, people who are deleted. Okay, um, let's buff up here. There we go. Uh, who gets deleted? We will take out Mission. Off to Karth. Uh, we can basic that mess off of him. That's fine. She can taunt all she likes. We're basically saving... Uh... Well, I want to save this ability, right? There's still some turns yet to come. And I'd like to do that dead last. So the trick is, is to have one of these tanks live long enough for GBA to take one more turn, which actually might be a little tough. Believe in you, GBA. Mark three, huh? Um, blah, 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 blah. let's just basic. I don't want to do anything too fancy here. Um. Nice. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. Alright, there. L3 is out of the way. Now is the time. We heal up. He is well and truly shut down ability block and stuff, so hopefully we get a powerful delete here. We're setting back his turn meter, so all the time in the world. Wow, that didn't actually kill him. Let's blind him here and make sure that he doesn't get anything. Alright, 60. Good. All according to plan. Real good banners today. Not that it's hard to do today. Okay. Mmm, yeah. Alright, what do we got back there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Cheese fleets, too. Man. Alright, alright, alright. Home one, 
and uh, and Radis. So we'll home one the Radis, and we will finalize her the home one. Now let's see if there's any way that this gentleman can punish me. Aha! This is why we check, folks. This is why we check. This is a very rare duck. Hoo hoo! Ooh! Wow! Double R A. This man gotta check this. So how fast is this? How fast is this? Is there any? Um, 163 times 1.25. So he's effective 203 speed. How fast is my special forces time? Oh, I don't get it. How fast is my special forces time? Very rare duck. Very rare. 203. Guys, we can't do finalizer here. We don't want that drama. So that means I, I did keep malevolence. We can malevolence here. Um, personally, I use rebels to beat uh, malevolence. So I have to think here about what's the best malevolence comp to take against it. But we're priced out. I can't believe I'm saying this. I am priced out of using Finalizer to clear home one. This is what I was telling you guys. At, at the very high end of the game, you know, everybody's got to be really choosy about their relic gates. And, and, I, and I sympathize. I get that. Uh, but at this high end of fleet, this is, the, this is the kind of thing. Like, you're forbidding certain counters just with, a, just with one more relic level. I think that's huge. And people will hate on this because who wants to see these two garbage characters wearing R8? I hear you. I hear you. He could have taken one of them to R8 and for, uh, forbidden you from taking the risk with the, uh, the, uh, like you, you couldn't, you couldn't take rebels against negotiator if Ahsoka is R8 and you don't have one of the pilots at R8. Otherwise you're not faster than Ahsoka. But by doing this double, he stops the finalizer. I didn't think I would see it. Uh, anytime soon, but wow, here we are. Okay, so let me actually write that down. <whistles> I gotta tell you guys, you gotta check uh, check the key ships. Don't get don't get caught with your pants down. How strong a foe is that? Okay, he's just the relic five. That's fine. So we're gonna malevolence this, and I'll think about the comp here. Um, no, I can't do triple tank because I'm gonna. No, I can do triple tank. I'm using home one. All right, we'll come back to that. I think we're doing. I think we'll be in a good spot. All right. What did I say I was doing here? This was the JML thing. Um. Geez, we're not even using JKR here today, are we? Hmm. I don't care. So. Jedi, JML, Cam, Grandmaster, and Shock. And Shock's here just for more protection restoration towards the end if we need it. It's disgusting to have to use things like this to overpower teams like that, but uh, here we are. Okay, um, not that it matters for this purpose, but I do want to target my primary kill. Um, hmm, okay, we're gonna get started with that. Oh. <laughs> uh, if nothing else, it's funny. Um, <laughs> uh, let's, let's put the armor shred on Rika. Hmm, Stone Age, somebody. They're all still ability locked, so it doesn't matter. So we'll go after tech. We don't need to set anybody's cooldowns back, so I didn't use JML's middle there. Okay, okay. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. We can do this. I'm just fine with that. This will do. Wrecker's down and out of the game. Uh, might as well. We can set him back now. Goodbye. We knew you so briefly. Um, hmm. 
All right, so now we'll use this since he's definitely the only one who has taken any damage. And the kill shot. Glorious. Another 61 in the back. All right. Bounty Hunter time. Aura, Boba, Boss, Grief, Mando. Um, so we have Armor, Bo-Katan, Gar, ISC, and Sabine. Your threat condition is generally Sabine here, but she's only G12, so I'll focus on killing Bo-Katan first just to avoid her days, all that mess. Thank you, Sweens. Appreciate it. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's T-ball today, so it, it, I'm I'm glad that uh, you're impressed with me hitting it into the outfield. You know, with a wiffle ball and a wiffle bat, but uh, yeah, it's better than losing. It's you know, I I can't hate. All right, um, we will do the mass here. I'm fine with that. Uh, yep, this will be death for Bo-Katan. Let's AOE. We're already procked. Um, tune up. Let's go after her. Uh, stack up again. Let's straight up delete her. She never gets to Beskar. Ability block, ability block. Let's go after ISC, who's not ability block. Okay, so he's dazed. He's set to the Stone Age. Let's do the mass onto her, finish her. Um, yep, we'll keep going here. Uh, this probably won't kill crit immunity. Oh, I was wrong. I was mistaken about that, as it turns out. Uh, okay, basic. Yep, Stone Age. Let's see where we're at. Uh, lots of turn meter yet to come. No reason not to buff up. This should stun. Yep, he was already debuffed. Good, good, good. Now we just ride out the gravy train. Okay. 60. And for the last one. Man, just uh, really back to back to back knocking them out here, eh? Okay, JKL, Old Ben, and Hoda. Said. Yeah. Yeah, this is more than sufficient. Creepy, thank you so much for the follow. Pleasure to, to have you. Let's see here. Uh, as always, you want to go after Elder first. Into non-existence, ye shall go. No turns for you. The smack of the gods. Um, yeah, no need to do all that. Uh, why not? Why not? Just, just for the moves. Uh, we'll basic here. Smack. 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 Alright, 62. So, this guy, let's, let's, uh, let's run up a tally, shall we? Go go gadget calculator. 62 plus 60 plus 61. Plus. Let's go back over. Plus 60. Plus 60. Uh, plus 63. Plus 61. Plus 60. Plus 60. Plus 60. Plus 61. Okay, so that's 668 uh, divided by what? That's uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, so divided by 11. Uh, average of 60.7 banners. Um, really? 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 Should be higher. Something about that seems weird. Anyway, the 668 number is the important one. Let's go ahead and add up his sum. So 58 plus 57, 58, 55. Oh. 
plus 59 plus 55 plus 60 plus 55 plus 59 plus 60 plus 57 663 668 uh it's minus 668 uh, a differential of 35 banners that is a drop like more than a drop that's more than a drop so, I dig it. Hey, Darth Beast, welcome to the show. Uh, how refreshing is it to see G11s on defense, Sweens? Uh, it feels like a blast from the past that I don't want. Like, I actually have long-term, like, I want Ewoks to be useful to me. I I'd like to maybe relic them at some point, but yeah, no, like, unironic G11s, stuff like that. <laughs> It's okay, I mean, but, you know, it's his cheese board to set. And so far, we have really punished this guy. Um, let's see, he's a 28-17. So he, so, all right, so he saw what he needed to see there. Uh, what does Primebot tell me? Okay, he 70'd one of the fleet battles, so that was really impressive. Which one did he 70? Yeah, he 70'd the Empire. Okay, so he knew how to handle that one. That was a risk. Boy, that is a good clear, though. I must say, I can't hate that. He definitely 70 the Executrix. And then he had to work his way through the reinforcements on that one. So what is this territory value again? It's like 186. Yeah, okay. 186. And what did Primebot say? 304. So 304 minus 186 is 118. Well, that makes little sense. Less 70 is... No, that can't be right. Something's wrong there. Um, ba, 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 ba. 304 minus 186. If you finish the territory for 304, 304 minus 186, 118 divided by 2, 59, 59. So if it's 118, so if it's 118 minus 59, no, that doesn't work. No, no, no. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, he's super, he's su yeah, super perplexing, Sweens. It's just, it is kind of a head scratcher. I'm just kind of like, eh, you can, you can set G11s on D. That's, that's your prerogative. All right, so he really tried to super stomp here. But what, what was he at at the start of the stream? Like 25-something. But anyway, I really have to think of this. Anyway, let's go on with the show. Radis, home one. Now, hold on a second. Radis. Okay, switch capital. We're going to go to home one. There we go. Okay. Uh, Biggs, Biston, Melf, Cassian, and Wyway. I honestly, let's think about not even having the Wyway. Because <clears throat> what's going to happen? What's you going to do? What are you going to do about it, man? What are you going to do? To 70. What must he have done to 70? That means he probably finalized or trioed that. You fool. Interesting. Okay, um, let's see here. Do I take the second ship? What happens? We have Houndstooth. Houndstooth, we move past very quickly. We kill the other two ships. First reinforcement comes out. There should only be one ship on the board if, uh, when it comes out. Uh, probably Houndstooth. We can use the basic and the restore instead of the extra ship there. Is there a punish for that? I, I can't think of the last time I've been punished uh, by having only four ships for rebels. I, I can't say that I can recall the last time I had to use a second reinforcement on home one. Alright, 
let's let's do that. Let's be let's be aggressive. Um, yeah, this is for all the glory. You know, this this is about rubbing the opponent's face in the mud for setting down the cheese board. So. Yep, that one hurts. Um, okay. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that. We got we got a little help this time. Um, there's no set of debuffs I'm terrified about, so we buff up immediately. Um, let's try and get a little protection there. For that we will mass here, just because of the assists, and also yeah, a little bit of buff clearing. Basic, no assist. Okay, it's fine. Yep, no assist. Um, might as well do the four sight dispel by doing the AOE and picking up the defense penetration. No assist. Just want to point that out, folks. I'm not bitter. You're bitter. Um, yeah, might as well kill him. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, Razor Crest. A novel choice. Wiggle once more. Keep up the pressure. This houndstooth has got to go. Um, we will... There's nobody who needs to desperately be dispelled, so we're going to dispel off his protection. Um, these two are okay. The only one not at full health is Biston right now, so we'll do the heal here for him. Alright. A little bit of heal action there. It's fine. It's fine. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. Uh, basic there, that should be enough for you. Yeah, that's that's quite enough. Good, good. Um, let's see here. That's fine. Just use that move there that way. Okay, so we got a bit of protection back. 67. Great win. Great win. No ships lost. Jeez, 70 on that one fleet, man. Well, what does that mean? It's it's like 186 is the territory. Plus 70 is 256. Ah, there's... Yeah, that's what I wasn't thinking through earlier. So it's 256. 304 minus 256, I think, is the answer. Yeah, 48. I think that sounds too low, to be honest. But whatever, the sum come the, the sum is right between them, so I'll figure it out. Seventy banners? Why would you say that, Primebot? Seventy? Jeez, that's crazy high. Um, all right, so this one we do need malevolence, and that's going to be ever so slightly a pain. So let's think about how that works. Um, certainly, hounds too. We need. We will. Yeah, we'll definitely take along. So let's think about this. Let's think about this. They easily get rid of lots of debuffs. Um, we could have Spy up front. I'm trying to think about this. Uh, th thank you, Sweens. Things are going pretty well on this one. Beast, I think he's selling his account, the account server. This guy's selling his account, Beast? Okay, well. Maybe that explains uh, him taking a very easy road here for defense. That's fair. That's fair. Um, but how do I want to deal with this? So we would have... Yeah, there's a possibility that we get all of our debuffs dispelled if we set three. So it's important not to try to stun bigs, I think. Um, how's... Hyena Bomber. We would have to put Breach up. Maybe Houndstooth off the bench. Uh, go with the traditional. Let's think about that. Because I want the Vulture Droid Assist. And then I would want this ship as well. But I don't think I'll get to three reinforcements. Still, I don't want to be surprised here. Um, 
Why do I want Sunfac up front? Just another tank, it's fine. Reinforcement ability, remind me, stun target. And remove 15% TM. That may have a better purpose for us as a reinforcement. So how does this look? We would have Biston, if we have Spy up front, Biston would immediately destroy it. They're probably going to destroy the Vulture Droid, but I can live with that. Or should I have triple tanks up front? But then how does that go? Yeah, we, we wouldn't have much in the way of Buzz Droids. We wouldn't have had much in the way of pressure before then. Yeah, I don't think I care for that. I do like this, though. All right. Let's see if we don't get punished. Yeah, that is a big sweaty Biston's U-Wing. Yeah, big sweaty Biston's U-Wing. I don't know if you saw that beast. That's a double R8. You don't see that too many of them running around. Got that out. Reaches up. Now, if I if I do this here, he's just gonna dispel it all. That's the that's the terrible part. Um, because we'll put down both buff immunity and buzz droids. That's magic number three debuff, so we don't actually want to do that here. Even though it feels terrible. Okay, good. Oh, jeez. Jeez, that damage. Sure, I'm glad I went with the tanks. I, I do have to say that. Um, this is not the main buzzy. Okay, what's this? Y-Wing. Ooh, boys. Okay, stop taking turns. Hoo! Hoo! Okay, uh, what do we have to do here? We have to bring out uh, Sunfac. We have to stabilize with something. But how is that going to work? If I do that... Um, do we take the gamble on Spy? We can dispel here, but we won't be able to kill. Nobody's low. Spy might be our best choice, because Sunfax's just going to get punked down. So we have to go with the gamble here. Might have to plan on a cleanup. Alright, so we can take out Biston here for free. That means that we do have Finalizer as an option. So, for all that this has become, we still have a chance. Ah, please, please, guys. Um, got an AoE here. Hopefully we get offense down. Okay, we got some offense down. Yeah, okay, all right. You guys you guys showed him what for. That's fair. Assist me. Thank you, thank you. Uh, what do we got here? We got, now we got Sunfac. He's got another wiggle coming up. So if we, if we do the... Uh, Evan Hawk here will just get punished immediately. This guy's stunned already. Um, bah, 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 bah. So we just basic here. No reason to burn the stun. We will put buzzies. Oh yeah, that was... Oh, that counts as three. Yeah, that's fair. Um, Alright, so now we have to go through him. Big hit. Uh, I would rather basic here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, that is a savage, savage uh, fleet. Okay, people to dispel. We'll go with this one. Yep, ultimate is coming soon. Yep, yep, I feel you, beast. We're, we're, we've recovered, we've recovered. That Biston, getting him off the field was the key to the kingdom, though. I'll tell you that. Okay, Ghost, I see you. I feel you. I never get that ghost assist. When you do the sweep, you have a chance to get an assist. Never get it. Absolutely never. And of course this guy gets it. Of course he does. I'm telling you. Okay. Our plot worked. It was uh, a rougher clear than perhaps I would have liked. But it was 67 there for that one and 55 here. All right, folks. How does it come out in the wash? Oh, 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 oh,
What is that? 2856 minus 2817. 39 banners. It's like you dropped twice on me, buddy. I hope you learned something here today for setting down this crap. Nobody gets to learn anything. But it's a nice clean win, but eh. Eh. All right. Um, we can do the wrap-up here. Again, it's uh, it's kind of trivial. So this guy, this guy saves everything for offense. So he was able to one-shot all my teams. Um, for middling 50s banners, it was all, it was all, you know, solid clears, and then he was waiting to see, uh, how I did, uh, on his squads before he attempted fleets. So, uh, thanks, Baylor, appreciate it, appreciate it, guys. Um, and, yeah, on my attacks, uh, we, we planned everything very carefully, we got 60s almost everywhere. Let me see if I actually had anything in the 50. We had absolutely nothing under 60 banners the entire time. 1, 2, 3, 7, 7 plus 4 is 11. Yeah, that's how that works. Anyway, um, wonderful, wonderful set of attacks. Then we got back here to fleet, and I almost made a critical error. I was going to finalize this home one fleet, and uh, I almost recklessly charged in without checking Biston. And to my surprise, what had been waiting for me. Uh, double Relic 8 Biston. Absolutely forbidding my uh, First Order Special Forces TIE, fi uh, TIE Fighter Pilot from getting out ahead of that. Uh, if you can't do that, then that means Biston goes under stealth, uh, puts target lock on somebody. Now you're stuck behind uh, Biggs. And time is not on your side against a Rebel fleet. So we were, we were lucky to catch that. Went in with Malevolence. Uh, of course, you know, just overwhelming offense took out a uh, hyena so fast, but then we, uh, <laughs> and then, uh, let me think about this. We lost hyena like easily, and then we, uh, lost houndstooth all before the first reinforcement. Called out spy. Spy was good to us and allowed us to punk Biston. That took so much turn meter generation off the table that it stalled out the fleet. We were able to get out additional, uh, reinforcement with Sunfac and uh, ended up managing to clean it up. So, whoo, what a ride, guys. Uh, thank you, Sweens, appreciate it. Uh, all right, let's take a look here on Twitch and see who else I can send you guys off to see. Do, 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 do. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, 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 ba. Let's see. People who I haven't raided before. Let's go to uh, Fort Mort. Why not? Let's see here. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Perfect. All right, guys. Uh, gonna shut down here. I'll be available on Discord. You're always welcome to hit me up. Um, and we'll talk to you all real soon here next week for week three, round one. So yeah, went 2-1 this week, went 3-0 last week. You know, we'll try and push for the 3-0 next week. Appreciate you guys. Take care.